what do you think are the, the latest developments in managing gut health in IBSC, which is a, probably a hot topic? It is, it is a hot topic. I mean, I, I'm glad you asked that question. It, it really is a wonderful, fascinating question. So lots of things in incremental fashion are slowly changing the field. First, I think, you know, we, the important thing is we've all recognized that it, it, there is a spectrum. People can swing from IBS constipation to IBS mixed, and some may even go to IBS diarrhea. So the mixed group, although we, we have, tended to neglect that group, increasingly people are recognizing that that is an important component and seems to be part and parcel of this illness. So we, we need to get familiar with that and try to really figure out how we're going to manage. So, you know, this is really the, the middle group that can very easily swing from one end to the other end. So we need to become adept at handling this group. So I think that, that to me is, is a fascinating area. But the challenge, I mean, I was discussing with, with one leading uh, pharmaceutical um, company the other day is, is we do not have any good guidelines. I mean, how are you going to measure outcomes? See, for IBS constipation, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the FDA and experts, you know, came together and said, okay, if we can see a reduction in pain plus an improvement in constipation symptoms, however we define it, complete spontaneous balm, et cetera, then we have a composite responder endpoint, and we can use it. Now the challenge is in the mixed group, pain is okay, that would be easy. But how are we going to look at this bowel pattern change? Mm -hmm. Are we going to look at their constipation pattern change a bit, diarrhea pattern change a bit? Or how do we get to this midpoint? I think that requires a little bit more thought. So some of those aspects will have to be ironed out before somebody will boldly venture into a pharmaceutical trial in the IBS mix group. So that area, I think, needs a little bit more clarity. Yeah, I would agree that I find uh, patients with um, IBS mixed very challenging um, because it's hard to know exactly what symptom to target. Um, so I do know that they, they suffer a lot and um, it'd be great to have some good options for them. I agree. I agree. 